putter Thomas Morstead to get this one started. And we are underway in Foxborough. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Throwing on second and three. Hurts. Complete. Jefferson the target. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Second and 11 now. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 37. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. On first down, Pollard. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Sliding out of the pocket. He'll wind up getting four there on his Good own, job, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Play fake. Here's Hurts. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Right, third down and short yardage. You're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Now here's Pollard. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. This has not been a fun sequence for him at all. First and goal, no gain. Second and goal, he ends up losing yardage. He may be trying to talk him into getting the ball third time, but it's going to be difficult for him to win that battle. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll look to throw here. Flushed out right. 
And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jalen Hurts, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Full connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On first and 10, Herbert. He's got Smith here. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second and six now from the 24. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and try to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. Herbert escaping the pressure right and able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Dancing to his left. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. And boy, down a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. And they snap it to Herbert. Forced out to his left. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Not sure I agreed with the decision to go for it, but I definitely agree with his decision to run it. He picked up that big first down. I think he let his head coach off the hook. I, that's what I was just going to say. If there's anybody more happy than the quarterback picking it up, it's the coach that saw him pick it up. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. It's Herbert. Out to his left. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They're going to try and throw. Steps away. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. 
Man, we see a lot of quarterbacks try and do this. They get out of the pocket, they get in trouble, and they try and force the ball into their star receiver to make a play, sometimes whether he's open or not. And I think this time, it was definitely an or not. They'll run on first down. Pollard, and he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. And a short game here down to the 22. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Hurts. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. So they go with the empty set, and that's the risk you run right there. Nobody was there to protect. Well, you know how most offenses have audibles, and they've changed plays when they see certain sets? A lot of defenses do the exact same thing. You go to an empty back set, they bring pressure. And boy, did it pay off in this case. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. This is brought in at the 21. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now a give here to Pollard. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. It's third down and six. 
They go play action with Hertz. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And Folk's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Rolling to his right. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Oh, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone stretcher here because they started the tight end on the left side of the formation and sent him on a crossing route. And this works really well where you can find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. Buying time to his left. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Here's second and ten. Single receiver, single receiver. Hey, you're on an island over there. Watch ten, watch ten. Come on, come on, watch ten, watch ten. Justin Herbert looking to pass. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And now off to the races, down the right side. Ooh, Lord have mercy. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown.